your daddy Oh yeah mm -hmm. oh, oh you so young Why you had to take you away uh, Feeling so sure What has ever happened to me Your mommy and your daddy miss you so much Wake up every day so wishing you would show up Wake up every day feeling so up yeah, 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 they say God was in mysterious ways But I can't think of why He would take you away Trying to deal with the pain Steady praying for strength I don't know who to blame Cause you were so young To get you baby giving all up Why couldn't it be us? Camera, action Action Hey guys, welcome back to the Aguilar's And welcome back to a new vlog Today we're going to be doing something different well, actually, a sit-down video for you guys because we got some tea for you guys. I don't know, Candy tweeted, I think it was yesterday. Why are you nervous? <laughs> I don't know, I'm nervous because I don't know what to expect from you guys. I don't know. Um, what is there to expect? Yesterday we were arguing because... There is nothing to expect out of this. The only thing you're going to expect <laughs> is what you're going to expect. There is nobody. There's nothing to expect from anyone. There's, no, I know. But I'm saying, you know? I don't know. It's just like, it's, it's kind of nervous for me and you. I'm very nervous to do this video, yeah. guys. I didn't want to do this video. I wasn't going to do this video. I was not going to show none of this until we were ready, until it happened. I will tell you guys in a second because you guys have no idea what the heck we're talking about. If I tweet it, it was for a reason. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. But yeah. it's still like we get nervous. We just get nervous with this subject because it's, you guys know we went through a lot with Sebastian so just even talking about it in public mm -hmm. is really hard every time I talk about it I start crying yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to cry right now so guys go to your kitchen right now grab some popcorn sit down and have some tecito because there's gonna be some good tea right now some what tea good tea oh good tea <laughs> um so you guys, before we start the video, um, if, you, if guys, you guys are new to the channel, if you guys haven't joined the family, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell. That way you guys get notified every time we upload a new video for you guys. Yes. It has been a while since we've done a sit down video for you guys. Um, usually, I'm the type of person that I love sharing stuff, but after it happens, I was trying to keep it to ourselves for as long as possible. But something told me just, I was in the shower yesterday and I told Nestor, you know what? I want to share it. But I've been he was excited. For, well, I've been, that's because I've been telling her for a while. Let's just share. Nestor's an open book. Nestor will share anything on social media. Me, I'm an open book to when it comes to my family. My family and friends know everything about me. If but, they ask me, I'll text them anything. I, all my friends and family already know too. Mm -hmm. And I'm a very open book to, to everyone. But when it comes to social media or it comes to the kids, we have to be very careful because people twist your words yeah. or they don't understand where, you, where you're coming from. And we're just like, we just explained it. So we have to be very careful with what we show you guys. I know, like, not to show you guys everything we do, but like the most important things. And mm -hmm. I thought it was really, really important for us. And it's very special. Yeah, it was really special. So I told her, just share it. She will go back and forth. And sometimes we'll argue. Like yesterday, we were, we were arguing because she's like, let's let's do it. And then she got everybody's opinion. Like, you know what? I'm not gonna share it. Maybe later. I don't know. And no, I'm but like, I'm too excited. I want to share. It. I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do this. I you was know? like, let's just do it, man. Like, yeah. cause when we started YouTube, you know, we always kept it real with you guys, and I was like, they deserve to know. Yeah, and I want to go back one day and be like, oh my god, look how excited they were. I do get sad, guys. I cry about this all the time. Every time I think about it, I cry, I cry, I cry. But I'm still very excited because it's something big. But if you guys are ready to know what we are talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. You tell them. Alright, guys, so you guys know that Candy has her tubes tied. And so we are reversing her tubes so we can have you another are? baby. <laughs> well, we, well, you are. Candy's reversing her tubes so we can have another baby. We're going to try it out. Um, we already have a set, a set date for surgery. Mm -hmm. It's coming pretty, yes. pretty soon. So stay tuned Sooner for that than video you too. expected. So I'm in the process of getting the tubal reversal and we had a couple options. We had IVF option. I think I'm saying it right guys. If I'm saying it wrong, you know, like go ahead and laugh at me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that is when you get to choose your own baby. 
Yeah, they, they gave us a couple options and that one was not a good option for us because I was like, just, just, just let it happen how it is, you know, yeah. naturally. Yeah, so we, we want, if we are able to, we want it to happen naturally, you know. Um, we're not against it. I know a lot of people need it. I know that's the only way that they can conceive. So we are completely not against it. If it, if it was to happen that it doesn't work for us, we would have to go that route as well. Yeah. But as of for now, I wouldn't want to. I would want to... I, I am going to go through a lot of pain. A tubal reversal is painful. I've heard I have to stay in the hospital for a whole day for recovery. I heard mm -hmm. it's painful. When I, t when I tied my tubes... Let me tell you guys a little bit about that. When I tied my tubes, um, it was so easy. The next day, we were in Vegas. It was that easy. So it happened a year after. As soon as I had the surgery, a year after, I started getting a lot of pain in my ovaries days before my period to the point that I couldn't even walk I would always be standing I'd be walking around and then I'd be like oh my god like Nestor I'll start crying you get bloated too yeah and I get super bloated I've had people that tell me like they, they'll be like pinchy panzona and they have no idea what I suffer you know and they're like I'll take a picture like for mm -hmm. example I think I took one in Fashion Nova we went to an event and my stomach looked like I was four months pregnant and I started getting like like mean comments like pinchy vieja panzona but it's like you guys have no idea what we go through, you know? Yeah. I'm not a perfect Instagram model and I'm not trying to be that, you know? If I want to, believe me, I can do my whole BBL and surgery. I can do it. I want to do it one day. You're going to be able to tell anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. But I'm still mojero on with or without it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, I suffer a lot from my stomach days before I'm going to get my period. I get I swell up this started after I tied my tubes but anyway guys I can do a whole other video about all the problems I have on the other hand guys I'm not discouraging you because all of my friends have been fine I'm like the only one that has gone through this you know there's always that one but all of my friends did amazing and other than that I had no complications it was just ovary pain and getting bloated after I tied my tubes so and her you know, hormones Go up and down. <laughs> talk a lot of shit. <laughs> I think I've always talked a lot of shit. So in a way, to me, it's a relief. I hope it's that. I hope that it gets better. I will actually update you guys if I feel that it did get better. Um, but guys, this has been such a tough decision. Don't think that one day. Well, yeah, we did wake up one day and thought about that. So when Sebastian passed away, um, actually, let's go back. When Sebastian was in the hospital. I remember my mom and everyone would be like, Candy, you should have another baby. What if the baby needs a transplant? And I'm like, no, I tied my tubes, you know? Like, I was done after Sebastian. So once I had him, I tied my tubes months later. <clears throat> and then when he passed away, I was like, I wish Sebastian would be here and I would have given him a little brother or sister. That way he could be a bigger brother, you know? Nestor has always wanted yeah. a baby, even when Sebastian was here. He but always told me he wanted a big family with me, and I was like, oh my god, we already have one. Before she tied her tubes, I was like, think about it, because I want to have another baby, and this and that. She's like, no. Um, that's no, why that's I did it, because I didn't know? want more. And we had a lot of plans for the future, too, like, mm -hmm. wanting to like, own business and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. So, when she had the surgery date, she was like, okay. We went to the doctor, and she's like, you sure you want to do it? She's like, okay, yes. I'm like, whatever. And then we went to, to the hospital to get the surgery that day. The doctor told us again, are you sure? I and signed immediately. And she signed immediately. Positive. And then the doctor came again. She's like, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And they took her back. And she's like, are you sure you guys want to do this? And I'm like, what, Nestor always said I no. Like, whatever she wants. Like, I don't really, what's up to her, you know? Mm -hmm. Nestor always said no. But I was like, yeah. I'm done. Sebastian is such a handful. I'm like, my little bossy pants, I couldn't imagine when he was here, I'm having another one. I, it would have been super hard, yeah. you know? Because Sebastian was a handful, and by a handful, I mean like, he had us like this. Yeah. Where he was so spoiled, and we just loved him so much. That percent of all of our comments have always been, have another baby. Mm -hmm. Have another baby. And I don't think that you guys realize how much that would hurt me, you know? Like, at the beginning, I wouldn't say nothing. I've never said it in the channel. It would hurt me so much, because yeah. I couldn't... I, I could not imagine replacing Sebastian and people around me would be like hey when are you having another baby and blah 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 and I would be like I'm not having another baby I already tied my tubes you know like I'm done having babies and I would get offended I'm not even gonna lie like I would get offended like I'm like no Sebastian is my baby he's the only one even if he's not it here was, I'm done and it was hard for us because I would cry a yeah, lot yeah we didn't want to replace Sebastian and it was so recent yeah. And then after the years passed by, like, the house felt so, like, it still feels lonely because we, yeah. we were so used to Sebastian running around, taking out the Tupperware. Telling us what to do. Yeah, so 
it was hard because we were so used to him. So I told Kenny, you know what? We're getting old. We're getting older. And I'm like, old. Uh, and I feel like it's time for us to like, I don't know, have a baby before we're 40, 45. And then be like, you know what? Let's have a baby. I'm like, I want to have energy for my baby. We're going to have another baby. And I want to I enjoy him. I want to be have a baby at 40, 45 and then not have freaking energy, you know? So and that's one of the reasons why I work out too, because... I just want to have energy. And I feel like Nestor would tell me like, are you sure you're going to change your mind when you're 40? And by that time, you're not even going to be able to. And that day, mm -hmm. you're going to look ridicula. And I was like, well, I even feel like 32 was a lot older. But then I realized, no, there's a lot of women having kids at 32, 33. So I'm, I'm still in a perfect age to have a baby. Yeah, you know, even the young. doctor told me, he's like, oh, you're at a perfect age to have another baby. And I mean, in your case, this is the last baby. I remember saying always, like, after 30, I'm not having any more babies. Like, I just don't want to have no more babies. Mm -hmm. And I have Sebastian at, what, 27? No, 28? I forgot. Yeah. 28? I don't know. Somewhere around there. So I remember saying, at 30, you, I'm not having no more kids. I'm done. And now I'm 32. Maybe by the time I have one, I'm going to be 33. But then I start realizing, like, so many moms start at 33, 32 to have babies. Mm -hmm. So I'm not old, you know? So one day, guys... Um, I remember I just woke up. I told Nestor, you know what? I think I'm ready. I'm ready for another baby. Oh, I don't know chicken why. Bow, chicken bow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know that they say that whenever it's meant to be, God puts it in your heart. And the same thing happened with Sebastian. I was done with the three kids. As a matter of fact, I was done with the first one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, and God put them all in my. No, I'm just kidding. I love my kids, guys. But with Sebastian, we were done. We were done with Ethan, right? Yeah. And then that's when. One day I was like, we got married. You raped me. The night of, of, of getting married, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was like, I want another baby. And I got pregnant. I'm very fertile. Yeah. So I've always had to be very careful with that because I've, I've always been very fertile. As you can tell, four kids later. But yeah. I remember telling Nestor, I'm ready. So I started searching. So I went to my doctor. I checked that I was, well, you know what, too? I had to check for my thyroid. Remember, I, I'm checking my thyroid. I know a lot of you guys tell me that you guys can see my, my neck swollen. I have been checking myself every half a year and everything's still under control. Um, you don't have those things no more. I don't have anything no more. I started searching up a doctor that did tour reversal. I went to this one at first and they were like, oh, we've never done them. I guess they convinced their people to go the IVF way, right? Right? Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, eh, whatever, I'm not going then. So I searched another one and it has, um, they had amazing reviews, guys. Let me know if any of you guys are interested in like tubal reversal um, and, I'll, and you guys are in Phoenix. And he's only a doctor that does this. No, I guess there's more. No, he's the only one. Said, I had looked for another one. But he said he's the only one that does it here. I don't know, but his reviews were amazing. Like, oh my God. So yeah. I was like, I, we have to go with him. So when we went... We did our appointment and everything and he explained the process and he told me, he's like, I'm not going to talk you out of anything. If you want this way or that way, um, he's like, we obviously have to check that you guys are still fertile, that you guys are still able to have babies. But he was so like, like he would explain everything. He made us feel so comfortable with everything. So we were like, oh, uh, you know what? Like, it's not even about the money. I mean, yeah, it's expensive to go the IVF way either way, but... I was like, I just want to do it the natural way. Okay, so we went to the first appointment. We were supposed to vlog, but it's so personal that we were like, we're not going to have a big old camera right there. Well, we vlogged a little bit. We were there and we walked in, but that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So he told us that once they reverse my tubes, I can get pregnant as soon as two weeks. This was in September when we went, 2019. Mm -hmm. As soon as he told me that, I was like, I'm not setting up an appointment. I'm not ready yet you know mm -hmm. and it took me days for me to actually set up the appointment i would cry a lot for me to have taken this step for me to be here talking to you guys just know that i've cried months yeah, thinking that i'm gonna cries. betray sebastian and it took a lot of people to tell me that you're not leaving him behind this is a new life this is not sebastian that I'm not betraying Sebastian by doing oh. this. It took me two years. Yeah, I always tell Candy, like, I'm pretty sure Sebastian wants this for you. She wants to, he wants you to be happy. And I always tell her, like, why are we talking about this? Like, it's meant to be. And why do we want it now? Like, huh? why do we want it now? Why are we planning this? Why are we putting dates now? And we did the blood work. Everything was fine for both of us. And we're fertile. It was so awkward, guys. Yeah. It was awkward because, <laughs> I, I mean, we just did it just because we wanted to... We know we're fertile, but like we just wanted to go and do it. No, that's not the case. Oh, what's the case? That you have to check. Oh, okay. 
But you I didn't like, know that? No. So you th you think I just went to check if you're fertile? Well, I already know I am. It's part of the requirement. Oh, the, doing the, the surgery? Yeah, o sea, oh. they're not gonna... Okay, that's the thing. They're not gonna untie your tubes and then be like, Oh, shoot. But you guys are not fertile no more. He wants to make sure that we're both fertile and before we go and do a big surgery because yeah. it's painful. So yeah, guys, it was so awkward that day because... Nestor was just going with like, his coach trying whole, to see the, if he's fertile. No, the whole week I was just like, how the hell are they gonna... Because they wanted a sperm sample. And I was like... Are they gonna put a tube or something? They're gonna put me to sleep. Ah, uh -uh, Chiquito, you gotta work for it. <laughs> and as soon as I walked in, like, it was so, like quiet and everything. And then they're like, you can go to the back. There's a room. So that the I don't know, if she's a nurse, or whatever. She took us in the room. And when I opened the door, <laughs> when we opened the door, yeah, there was freaking like, you know, magazines. I don't want to say the word magazines and movies. And I was like, what the hell? And I snapchatted my close friends. Like, I Snapchat at your Oh yeah, and I was, like, <laughs> I was like, look at this. I oh, like, this yeah. is the most awkward appointment we have had in our life. And then when we walked out there, she's asking questions. So how did it happen? We were like, ah! Yeah, and I was just, like, so awkward. And at the end, she was like, what do you guys do for a living? And yeah, I was, she like, was like, what do you guys do for a living? And me and Esther were like, no, <laughs> you don't want to know. When I love this song, just like, and I told her no. Why would he ask me this question? Yeah, and I was like, we her. have a YouTube channel. I'm like, you're gonna look at us weird if you see our channel now. So if you're watching this video, yeah, just know we wanted to freaking die. Traga mi tierra. I know. So she was like, no, no, everything's good right here. We always we used to, you know, like don't be embarrassed. And I was like, it's whatever. like me. I was a CNA a nurse assistant for years. I'm so used to seeing naked bodies. So I know a lot of people think like, oh my god, you would see that mm -hmm. person naked. Yes, when you're a nurse or when you're a CNA. You have to see, you have to deal with that. The same for a doctor, you know? Yeah. So I was so used to all of that. So we don't want to make this video too, too long because we're just kind of sharing. But I know that at the end of the day, it's like a lot of information up to where, how did we get to this point, you know? Um, we just know that, oh, 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 another thing. Another thing, guys, I don't want you guys to be like, or to be like, oh my God, they haven't got pregnant. I feel like we're going to do a surgery right now. And then from there, we even though the doctor said that it might I can get pregnant as fast as two weeks It's not always guaranteed. I have seen girls that never have a baby after so I don't want to have like my hopes up I'm going through the surgery Because I want another baby, but I at the in the back of my mind We also have to know that it might not work, you know, there's always that chance of it not working but like we like we've always said, we leave all of this in God's hands. If God wants to send us another baby, he will. Mm -hmm. We're obviously going to try everything we can to have another one at this point. But it's not going to be like, oh my God, are you pregnant yet? Next month. No, like we're, we're always so busy. Like, I'm not even going to lie. We're already booked for stuff late February, March. That's how much. Even my friends tell me, like, do you have an opening to go to, yeah. like, to go out and eat with me? It sucks. Like, it's kind of hard to it's, share it, with friends too. Yeah, it's hard. Know, but so. whatever, whatever chance I have, I take that and I, I go. I go to dinner with them. I try to my best. But I, we have a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, we're either we're working or we're traveling. But, but just we're travel know, guys, you know, it's like for business stuff too. You know, it's not like just to go have fun. Yeah, but just know that I've never got pregnant right away the first month with my kids. The only one I got pregnant right away was with Sebastian. I was pregnant the next month. That was the only one. But I've never got pregnant right away. It, it's always took mm -hmm. me a couple couple months. With Ethan, it took us a long time. A couple months to plan. Yeah. So, And then I had miscarriages, guys. I'm so afraid of miscarriages. They're like, they're hurtful, you know? We've gone through miscarriages before Ethan. They're very hurtful. Yeah, that's okay. Andy, when we decided to have a baby, I was just like, you know what? At first, I was just like excited. And then at the same time, I was like nervous because... Uh, to start all over again, you know, we went through Sebastian and I was like, yeah. once the baby comes, you know, either when they're first born, you know, you got to be checking on them and then if they get sick and... And then he's going to come out like Sebastian, he's going to be like, hmm, yeah. imagine, imagine una cosita así como Sebastian que te haga, hmm, my. Yeah, so I told Kenny, I told Kenny, you know what, I'll leave it everything in God's, God's hands. We're in God's hands pase, right now. Pase lo que pase, whatever. Just like our, just like our future is in God's hands, just like we left. Every single year we leave our year to in God's hands. We left our channel in God's hands. That doesn't mean that you don't, you don't work hard for your stuff. Mm -hmm. God still wants you to put effort. Obviously, we're not going to just sit here and expect to get a baby without working for it. You have to work for your goals, you know? But 
No, we are working. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, what else? Uh, I w also wanted to share, like, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. Um, let us know. We're going to try to vlog my whole surgery. I don't know how much they're going to let us. Um, we're going to try. The kids are excited. If you guys are wondering, Nicole and Melody have been begging me for a new baby. Begging yeah. me. Like, especially it? Nicole. She's like, every every other day, Mom, when are you having a baby? Mom. You yeah. know? But for Ethan and when, Ethan. We when we decided to have a baby, we told them like, Hey, we're planning to have a baby and the girls were excited. Actually, we just told Ethan a couple of weeks yeah. ago. I mean, we've always mentioned it, but he never says nothing. We actually mentioned it to him a couple of days ago. We actually told him like one on one, Ethan, you know, like we're deciding, you know, we've already talked about another baby, but we're actually going to do it now. Yeah. And, and we told him, and we told him too, like, what do you think about it? And he's like, well, uh, I feel like he said he didn't want to replace Sebastian. Yeah, well, yeah. I think I asked him. You left, no? You went to no, the room? There. You were there? You were yeah. hearing? Yeah, I was like, Papi, I was like, we're going to try to have another baby. And he's like, I don't want to replace Sebastian. Yeah, because it really hurts. And I just wanted to cry when he did that. Yeah, it hurt, it hurt me too when he said that. I was and like, I was like, Papi, you're not we're, not, we're never replacing Sebastian. Never. Yeah, it wasn't the answer I wanted to hear. And I was like, I, you know, well, that's how he feels, you know, so I can't tell him no. That's no, how I know. felt forever. But... That's how I that's how I feel like a lot of people are gonna feel that we're replacing him, but it takes a lot. It took us two years. And sometimes Nestor would be like too, like, why would you tie your tubes and all that? But I was like, you know what? I see a lot of moms that have lost their babies. And right away, as soon as they lost a baby, they have another one. I don't judge because I don't know I know what they feel. It's crazy. They're crazy mm -hmm. feelings. So I don't judge them, but I thank God that I did what I did. I tied my tooth when I did because I'm like, thank God I didn't go into this without thinking because I was so hurt because I missed him so much. Thank God I tied my tubes. I had time to not heal because you can never heal from a death. But thank God I had the time to be like, okay, I'm ready. This is what I really want. Mm -hmm. And I and I say this to every mom that has lost a baby. You obviously, you're obviously gonna have multiple kids. But don't rush into it. But I know I know it's hard, you know? Yeah. I just thank God I never rushed into it because my tubes were tight. Other than that, I probably would have been pregnant by now. Yeah. So we ended up telling Ethan, like, you know what? We're not going to replace him. Um, and I feel like Ethan, when Sebastian passed away, Ethan was a little bit quiet on the quiet side. Still so, is. Yeah, he's, nah, well, he's been opening more, you know? He's, mm. forget, he's not forgetting about it, but... I'm pretty sure you miss Sebastian. No, we talk about Sebastian all day long. Yeah, so... <laughs> he left us so many memories. Okay, yeah. sometimes I start cracking up from all the little things. It is becoming harder to see him though. Yeah. I can't even see his videos fully because I get super depressed. Yeah. It hit Ethan harder because Sebastian and Ethan were really, really close. really close. So, like, when I just had him flashback going back when he passed away. I don't away, feel like it, was... it hit him harder. I feel yeah. like it hit all of us really hard. But we all ways. know how to manage it differently you know well it hit me too but you know i was i had to be strong i'm sure you're going crazy too to just me, like i am to me when sebastian passed away it was more like anger like why you know yeah. why why he left after all we did you know it was just anger and for them it was like i had to get up and be the strong one and get him up and once one day we just decided to get the camera again and just start doing youtube yeah so. but guys i mean we do have videos about this so if you guys are new and you guys are interested in watching we have a full video of sebastian and then we have a full video of me explaining how he got diagnosed i've never done a video on his death because i don't think i ever can talk about it yeah i don't ever want to remember that day so i don't think i'm ever gonna do a video about it maybe one day if i'm ready not really I don't I think I'll ever be ready. I want to remember him and his happy days, you know. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that we don't do or share on YouTube because we're not ready and it's not easy, you know. We're going to be showing you guys everything we do with my surgery. We're going to take you guys on our journey. Have that doesn't mean that, I'm like I'm saying, we're going to get pregnant right away. It might take a year. I've known girls that did surgery because I follow a group. It's taken them a year or two. Some of them said it was even harder because... Well, maybe it wasn't that, they were that, that fertile, you know. No, I read one that said that she was fertile, but she didn't know what was going on. Back then, she would get pregnant easy. So I just don't want people to be like, oh my God, when are you getting pregnant? You know, like, just know that we're sharing this with you guys. But still, like, just know that even when I'm pregnant, I'm probably going to announce it, like, whenever we're ready, you know? But I just want you guys to know that we're planning a baby. We're planning a baby. It's, I can't even believe I'm saying this. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. 
I can't even believe I'm saying this, guys, and just don't want to go cry right now. <laughs> yeah. So pray for us, guys. Please keep us in your prayers, guys. Thank you guys for the love and support you guys always show us every day. Yeah, um, we couldn't do it without you guys. It's amazing, yeah. like, how many people, like, love us and watch us and believe us. There's always the ones that don't, but those don't matter. You know, we've always said that. Yeah. Keep us in your prayers, guys. We need them. And I know I tweeted this and a lot of people were like, no, don't announce that they want to say ojo. I know the majority of them said that. I don't even believe in that but shit. no, I believe in God. I believe that he is stronger than anything in this world. And we are here because this is his mission. Whatever we're doing, whatever we go through is because God wants us to. And I'm sure everything will be fine. And we're on a mission, guys. We were given this platform by God. We're not just here because, mm -hmm. oh, you did this so you blew up. No. We're here. Why are we here? Why is there only selected ones? Only God knows. And that's the way we see it. Even if your haters say that, we, we just want cloud. We're using our Sebastian for fame. Think whatever you want. We're always going to share what we think will help you guys. Mm -hmm. Not We're not going to share drama just because because you guys are asking for it or you have a question and you really want to know we're going to share whatever we feel that we can help you with yeah. if sharing my journey with my baby is helping someone out there helped so many people i'm gonna do it you know if sharing my tubal reversal is gonna help one of you guys or maybe encourage somebody that wasn't ready i'm gonna do it yeah but yeah guys um yeah you got some yeah, you got on. <laughs> where are they but yeah guys we just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Can they comprar on? Huh? Close your eyes. You bought me something? No. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> she needs yeah, yeah, yeah. that. That's what you get for not coming with me. <laughs> I was barely going to get a strawberry. <laughs> Shut up. With that being said guys don't forget that we love you guys and we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We hope that you finish your popcorn by now. Okay. <laughs> Just like All right, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for our next videos because, yeah. You guys don't want to miss in our journey. Peace. We will be sharing our journey with you guys. Yeah. I can't believe Cállate. this. <laughs> Cállate tú. Yeah. I can't believe you guys. I can't leave yet. I can't believe we're gonna be sharing our this journey with you guys. I was actually, let me be honest. I was actually gonna share this journey once I was pregnant. I was gonna yeah. keep all these videos, my surgery video and everything else. And I told But Kenny. I was too excited. I can't. Peace. Bye. Bye.